Hey, Jenny, aren't we supposed to be on spring break right now? Yes. Right? Like, it is March break. I thought What's going so. on? What's going on? Ah. Hi there. My name is Thomas Brown, and today I'm with Jenny Powell, who is one of our amazing child and youth therapists at Paleo Counseling Services. And today we'd like to just talk a little bit about some of the stress and anxiety that we might be feeling with our kiddos who are here in the background as we're not going into March break and maybe how we can help ourselves and our kids get through that. So Jenny, from your point of view as a mom and a clinician with, uh, who works with kids, what might we see in our kids to let us know that they're maybe coping with some stress or anxiety or maybe even some of their own burnout because we're not going into March break this week? What I am seeing is we are tired, mm -hmm. we are cranky, we're mm -hmm. all feeling irritable. Right. And certainly across the board in, in my sessions with children and families, I'm hearing that just widespread, uh, oh gosh, are we there yet, right? right? We're just all sort of hanging on. Um, personally speaking, Mondays are brutal. We have got the Friday countdown on, literally from the time our eyes open. Right. And it just, we feel a little bit defeated. I think all of us were really hoping for a bit of a break because that's kind of the, the midway point that yeah. tells us like we're, we're getting there, we're making progress. And yet here we are around right in the corner and we're still the same. Four more weeks, right? Four, Four more weeks. weeks. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that's certainly a trend that I'm noticing sure. a lot of people. emotions yeah. are running high. Fatigue is at an all time low. Right, right. And we know when we're tired and our emotions are high, then it's harder to be in control of ourselves as parents and kids have a harder time regulating. That gets to be a bit of a thing, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yep, for sure. Yeah. What okay. I'm, can I add to that, Tom? Yeah, of course. You said, you said the important word control. And yeah. I think that's what we're struggling with. It's just like a lot of us feel like we have no control. Right. And now our vacations, our holidays, yeah. that much needed break has been sort of felt like it's been taken away. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that. How do we feel a little bit more in control when there's sure. really not a lot of flexibility in our lives right now? Great. Well, you kind of took my thunder for the next question, which is awesome. yeah. take a segue, right? <laughs> is, you know, what can we do? So you, you, you think it's a little bit about control, is that right? How do we help ourselves and our kids with this? Well, you know, personally speaking, I recognize that we've been um, what it feels like in a rut. You yeah. know, we're against the daily grind, yeah. um, Mondays, Tuesdays, and, and much of the dialogue in the house is the same. Like, <laughs> what homework do you have to do? Right. What time are you going to bed? Like, all that stuff. So I've been really thinking lately, how do we make this upcoming week a little different, a little right. bit more okay. fun? Yeah. Um, and so how do we get more flexible? Because the other part to this is, I think we need to be modeling for our kids and expressing to our kids yeah we're tired too we need to bring some juice back into the routine yeah um so if you've got traditions or things that are pretty fairly rigid in your house right now while we love routine how do we jazz it up if movie night is saturday pull out all the stops let's make it tuesday right and and i think about my own kids god if i were to spring that on them you know tuesday night when they're getting ready to start some homework and i was like you know what? We're forgetting homework. Or we're only going to spend 15 minutes at homework. Run and get your PGs on. It's movie night Tuesday. Nice. I think it brings a bit of fresh air and a new perspective to what is normally Tuesday's a blah day, right? Like we're not even at the Wednesday mark. Right. So, yeah. so I'm challenging myself and, and lots of other folks in my sessions and in my friend group to be like, how do we make it a little bit different? How do yeah. we surprise ourselves and our children to break out of what feels a bit like a rut? Yeah, for sure. That's a great idea. I love the Tuesday night movie night and our little guys, um, it's a little bit nice. Today is, is March. It's kind of cold, but they're asking for picnics and I keep saying, oh, it's too cold, but I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Why don't we just go and have a picnic or do something outside? It's warm enough and it kind of varies things up a little bit, doesn't it? And it gets us out of our own comfort zone because right. we know right now we all just stick to what's familiar yeah. and what's comfortable. That may just be the thing perpetuating our mindsets. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks for that tip. You know, maybe uh, even though we're not going right into March break, at least we can create a little bit of excitement and, and bust out of our routine a bit. My dudes are escalating back there over Elsa, so I bet I better go. But thanks so much for chatting with me today, Jenny. We'll no talk problem. to you again soon. Okay, take care. Okay, See you later. Bye. Bye.